general math students, we're going to continue our study of arithmetic sequences with this example. It's a little bit different to what we've looked at in the previous videos, so let's have a go at it. Okay, so part A, we'll start here, and we're told that the first term of an arithmetic sequence is 14, and the seventh term is 50. Okay, now, those of you who have studied maths methods might want to explore the technique for solving these types of problems using simultaneous equations. I'm going to show you a different way, which was which is equally valid, uh, but just uh, uses some different techniques. Uh, and we start with the thinking of this sequence like this, where we've got the first term is 14, and then we don't know the other terms, so I'm just going to leave them blank. There's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. The seventh term is 50. Okay. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh term, 50. And we think about how many common differences are there from the first term through to the seventh term. So to go from 14 to 7, uh, to 50, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 common differences. Okay, I'll just let the computer catch up there. Six common differences. So what that means is that we start with our term one, number 14, and if we add to this six common differences, then we'll get 50. So now it's a matter of rearranging to make D the subject, get D on its own, and see what D is equal to. That's the common difference. Go ahead and try that. Pause the video and, and then I'll have a go at it. Okay, so to get D on its own, we're going to have 50, and we subtract 14, and then we divide by the 6. So that gives us 36 on 6. That's a common difference of 6. So now that we've got the common difference, we also know the first term, we can go ahead and write down the rule for the sequence. So that was what we did in the previous video. You might want to Try that on your own first and see if you can get the same sequence rule as what I do in a moment. Okay, I'll have a go at it now. So uh, Tn equals the first term, 14, plus n take 1 times the common difference, 6. Then we expand the brackets. And then we bring that 14 and that negative 6 together. So we end up with this as our sequence rule. Because 14 takes 6 is 8. So there's our sequence rule. All right, oh, so the next example is similar, but we're not given the first term. So that means there's some extra work to do in this one. We're going to utilize this same idea of uh, going from one term to another one. Okay, but in this one, we know the sixth term, so I'm going to have blank for the first term, second term, third, fourth, fifth, and then the sixth term is 123, like they say up here. Then we're going to continue to the eleventh term, so there's the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and the eleventh term is 98. So we've got a, an arithmetic sequence that is uh, decreasing here, clearly. So ask yourself, how many common differences between the 6th term and the 11th term? So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you might be realizing now you can actually take these two numbers. 11 takes 6 gives 5. Just like in the previous example, we were going from the 1st term to the 7th term. That was seven, uh, 6 common differences. 7, seven take 1 is 6. Anyway... So to go from 123, we will need to, uh, to, um, to 98, we will need to add uh, five common differences. Righto, so go ahead then and find that common difference. Then I'll do it. Right, so D equals 
98 take 123 on 5. This gives us negative 25 on 5 and our negative common difference of 5. We're going down by 5s. Okay. Now, one way to, uh, to find the first term, A, would be just to count back up in 5s all the way. Now, we'll do that because we can, but we are going to do it algebraically as well because they might expect you to do it algebraically in a test and not just count back up again, okay? But looking at that, I'm expecting to get 148 for the first term if I just count back to it, fives. But to do this algebraically, okay, uh, so I'm going to take the, the, that common difference and put it into the sequence rule, okay, and I'm going to do it for a particular value of n that I already know about, and that is the sixth term where it's 123. So for n equals 6, t of 6 is 123. Righto, so watch me put this information in. I'm going to put uh, 123 equals a, our first term, plus, now it's usually n take 1, but in this case n is 6. And then we multiply by our, by our common difference of negative 5. So I'm just putting the, the, the actual term in and the number of the term with the common difference. Now it's a matter of rearranging this to get A on its own. You might want to pause the video and try that. Then I'll have a go at it. Okay, so I'll do it now. A plus. Okay, 6 take 1 is 5 by negative 5 gives a negative 25 and then that negative 25 goes over and 123 plus 25 becomes a plus is a which is that 148 okay so in part b now we can work out the rule for the sequence by putting a and d in together You might want to pause and try this on your own, but at this point, I'll just stop there. Then I'll continue in a moment. Okay, so here I go. Uh, plus, so we're putting just generally n back in, or n instead of putting a number for it this time. All right, and just simplify as per usual. And this is a plus 5. Watch out for the double negative. Negative 1 times negative 5 makes plus 5. So Tn equals 5n plus 153 is our, 16, uh, is our term, uh, our sequence rule. The 16th term in part C, oh geez, T16 equals 5 by 16 plus 153. Uh, what's that? 5 by 16 is 80, isn't it? 5 tens are 50, 5 sixes are 30. Yep, so 80 and 153, which gives us a grand total of one, uh, 233 by my reckoning. Okay, guys, so uh, go ahead and look at the description for the video uh, and you'll see which questions you should try on these. They tend to come up in tests and exams, so they're definitely worth practicing.